State legislators questioned leaders from the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles about problems with illegal temporary paper tags. Car dealers typically provide the temporary license plates to car buyers, but some fraudulent dealers had been producing and selling them illegally. The DMV says it's cracked down on the temporary tag system and more improvements are coming. Fox 4 Stephen Dial joins us with more. Stephen. Clarice, good evening. The new acting director for the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles says that the number has greatly gone down of those producing fake tags, but admits there is still more work to be done. Law enforcement officials say for the last three years in Texas, fake paper tags on cars have become a widespread issue. Criminals are also using them on cars while committing violent crime. The problem has been a concern in North Texas as well. We recognize there's more that we can do. Fraudulent dealers have had access to the state system and created thousands of fake temporary tags. Some small fake dealers produced more car tags than large dealerships. Floyd Goodwin is with the Texas Department of Public Safety. DPS data has identified a number of criminal offenses that are commonly associated with the use of fraudulent temporary buyer tags. Primarily it's fraud, counterfeiting, forgery, alien smuggling, narcotics, gang activity, and vehicle theft. Tuesday, the House Transportation Committee pressed the acting head of the DMV. Last year, lawmakers passed a bill that was signed into law, giving the DMV more power to make changes. And it took them almost seven to eight months to do anything with the tools that we gave them. And so the question becomes, why? Why so long? I share your frustration. At the time that I believe we were awarded the, the um, wherewithal, if you will, with 3927, I was not in charge and I could not lead those efforts. But should we have acted faster? Absolutely. Daniel Avitia is the acting executive director for the Texas DMV. He says since the implementation of new rules, the department has been able to automatically shut down access to dealers suspected of fraud. The agency will soon take things a step further by requiring the more than 26,000 Texas dealer licensees to be fingerprinted. Fingerprinting applicants should address more than 90% of the issues and challenges that we are seeing with regard to abuse of systems. Whitney Brewster, who led the Texas DMV for nearly a decade, resigned in February amid mounting pressure over fake tags. The Dallas Police Department says it has issued 50 citations this year for unauthorized tags and 57 citations for wrong plates. Harris County officials say in 2021, there were more than 6,000 crimes with vehicles that had fake paper tags. Tuesday, County Judge Lena Hidalgo said in the last five years, the county has missed out on millions in revenue because of the issue. They may have accounted for more than $80 million in lost revenue for Harris County um, in terms of toll road revenue, in terms of new title and registration renewal fees. Now, the head of the Texas DMV did not give a timeline on when they will implement a statewide fingerprinting system for dealers who give the temporary tags. He also said today that they are looking at other unique ways like adding QR codes or different types of stickers that may also go inside of your car when you get a temporary tag.